Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, you know, like I'm looking at YouTube and, uh, you know, YouTube suggests to me some videos. Uh, uh, you know, there is a guy, I think he is from Macedonia, Albania, not sure. Uh, this guy, he is doing business and he have reaction videos always. And uh, YouTube showing me here, Christian react to the mosquito. <laughs> and this guy, he will never stop being Christian. He have a million video reacting to the Quran. He loved the Quran. But he keep calling him Christian. Because he knew that this is the only way to get the view. If he say he is a Muslim, Muslim don't care. But if he say Christian, he will get the hit. So uh, he have an interview with the, uh, the ketchup boy, uh, Uthman Quran, <laughs> and supposedly he will convert, <laughs> but he did not. <laughs> what a bunch of scammers. Anyway, going back to our topic. <laughs> Reaction to the mosquito. <laughs> My friend, the only mosquito I see is you. Oh, very well. Oh, Lord have mercy. So today our topic is about the Holy Quran. You know, as you know, the Quran is very holy. And uh, we know that those, you know, non-believers, they try always to insult the Holy Quran. But the Holy Quran is protected by Allah and uh, Jibreel and the genie and Allah even have insurance over the Quran and it doesn't matter if there's holes or not I mean there's holes everywhere you know as an example I have a hole in my teeth so what you know uh, so the Holy Quran which is proven scientifically to be uh, from God uh, historically, scientifically, technology. I mean, this is the book of nobody. I mean, nobody can make a book like this. Even the God of Islam, he says, who can make a book like this? <laughs> and I have to agree. <laughs> the most idiot, stupid book ever cannot make such a book. So our challenge today to the Muhammadan, and my Skype is open, who is going to call us and change the title from Holy Quran to Holy Quran. Any Muhammadan? You prove me wrong, I promise you, I will change the title of the video. Like Holy Cheese, there's a lot of holes in it. I mean, do you need to ask what kind of Holy? Holy. So who is the Muhammadan would like to, to call us and show us beside the mosquito, you know, the mosquito is the guy, he have a reaction to the mosquito. I don't know, I should make a reaction to the mosquitoes too. A reaction to the mosquitoes. We have a guy here in the chat, his name is Ali Aziz. This guy, he is, I don't know, why, why you don't call me Ali? Mr. Ali Aziz, why you don't call me, my friend? We just started. Soon we will have 1,000, 1,500, God knows. And imagine how many they will hear you. What do you think? Who is a Muhammadan would like to call us and prove to us? You see, for me, I don't really care about the Quran being changed. I mean, I'd actually, I'm against uh, even speaking of it. Why? Because the Quran as it is today is perfect. It's, it's very lovable. Why you want to change it, man? <laughs> Please give it to preserved. You know, the Quran is a preserved in which way? 
Who is a Muhammadan can tell us? Uh, the Quran is preserved in which way? What preserve mean? Anyone? Who is a Muhammadan would like to take the challenge? Just text me in Skype, please, and I will uh, call you immediately. Let us go to the Quran and see the preserved Quran. Uh, how does Quran work? I'm not going to talk about the one is not preserved. I like the preserved one. If we go in the Quran here, as an example, in chapter 5, verse number 3, I like this chapter <clears throat> because uh, in this verse here, Allah is telling the Muhammadan what to eat and what not to eat. It's forbidden for you <laughs> the dead meat <laughs> you know the Muslims they claim that Quran is made by a very amazing Arabic <laughs> dead meat you idiot well isn't it the chicken the one you eat is dead what do you mean do you eat the chicken alive Do you eat, Muslims, do you eat the chicken alive? When you say it's not allowed for you to eat the dead meat, what kind of Arabic this Arabic is? Isn't it all the meat you eat is dead? Are you a zombie? The Muslim, they will say to you, the Quran meant, the animal who died by themselves, but this is a different word. Like in Arabic, we say fatisa. Fatisa is an, a creature, you know, even a human being. We can say it to him too. Uh, die by himself. Nobody killed him. Fatas. Not uh, dead meat. <laughs> and then the blood. Well, when you eat meat, you will you you, you will have a blood in it. There's no way. There's, it, it's impossible to eat meat and you can't take the blood away. <laughs> Aziz Ali يتحدث إلى شيخ أهلا وسهلا بالشيخ الكريم Aziz, he is calling a sheikh and he will call us. That's wonderful. <clears throat> And then, you know, like, you can't eat this, you cannot eat that, blah, blah, blah. And then suddenly here, you will see, after he gave them a recipe about what to eat, what not to eat, actually, what not to eat, uh, you will see suddenly the verse says here, this day, I have a chose, uh, uh, today, I have perfected for you, your religion, and completed my favor upon you. So remember, we are talking about the preserved Quran. The preserved. As long as the Quran is preserved, that's mean this verse is not a mistake. Any Muslim will say this is a verse, this is this verse is a mistake. Do we have any Muslim here would like to say if this verse is true, correct, accurate, or stupid, or what? Remember, the one is talking is Allah. There is many mistakes here. Like I see some people giving some ideas, like Andrew, he said, I perfected, so... It was wrong earlier for Jesus and Moses. Uh, Alisa saying, perfect religion 
is religion God religion is God I will go farther from this you see this is a chapter 5 verse number 3 if this verse as we see as as clear as it can be you do not need even to give it interpretation today I have perfected your religion and completed my favor upon you and chosen Islam for you as a religion so in that day when this verse came Islam became complete When I say the day, this day, I'm talking about timing. About, and when I say I co I perfected, I completed today, but it's in the past already. Which mean now, just finished, but it's still it's past. But then we will find that there is hundreds of chapters after this verse not only hundreds of verses in the same chapter how how Allah he perfected today he completed today Islam for you and then Allah keep talking and just to show you how stupid the one who made the Quran as long today I perfected your religion for you completed my fear upon you have a chosen for you Islam as religion. And remember here in this part, he was talking about what to eat, right? And then suddenly after he perfected, but if any of, uh, of any is forced uh, by hunger, <laughs> like you just said you finished, you idiot. Are you with me, people? Allah, he just finished his book. That's it. It's completed. It's perfect. Islam is perfect now. And then Allah, after he finished the sentence, and there's only a dot, by the way, in Arabic, there's no dots. And he continues saying, what the heck is that? I thought you are done. So imagine you go to the movie. And then the movie, like it says the end. Everybody starts standing up. The light is turning on. And then suddenly you see the guy in the movie start saying, but if any of you forced by hunger like, what the heck is, is it over or not and then he continue and we continue blah blah blah blah blah blah blah blah blah blah blah blah blah blah blah blah blah blah blah sit down stand up sit down stand up sit down is it over so this is after he finished the movie the book is written is ready brother and then Allah now he is saying to them but and then he gave us a hundred nine chapter after after the but I'm telling you the, the but is a scary you know when Allah he say but that's a big but So the Quran is a preserved, preserved with the stupidity. Don't you think this is a miracle? <laughs> is that part two? <laughs> like, <laughs> how to debate this? Are you asking me how to debate it? I don't know. You get me a Muslim to debate it. I don't know. I'm not going to tell people how to debate this. The Muslim can debate. Muslim can debate anything. Muslim, they can debate anything, anything, anything. You know, Muslim have answer for anything. 
Like now, if we have uh, like, but you have to get someone smart, like you know, Zachary Nye, Christian Prince. What the heck? I say your name right away. You are on my face, Christian Prince. First of all, the Quran said today I perfected your rhythm, but Allah He don't mean it that day. What the heck? What He mean to a different day? Exactly. Oh, so, so Allah is lying to us, Christian Prince. Respect yourself. Allah don't lie. What do you mean Allah don't lie? Isn't the Quran says Allah the deceiver? And he misled people exactly. But when he misled people, he don't mean to lie to them, but he mean to deceive them. Oh, okay. He don't mean to lie to them. He mean just to deceive them. That is gold. Christian Prince, first of all, Allah will give us a golden bracelet in the heaven. Man, any word I say, you give me a verse about it from the Quran. I just said gold exactly. So I will be wearing golden bracelet in the heaven, and we will be wearing nothing. I don't want to wear a golden breast. Are you like a homo? I mean, why you are wearing the uh, uh, uh, jewelries, Zachary Naik? Are you a uh, female? Christian Prince, in the heaven, we will be decorated like a Christmas night. Like what? What the Christmas light have to do with you? I mean, how we can decorate you? Exactly. Allah will give us clothes made of silk, green silk. And we will be tiny, and our clothes will never wrinkle, and we will have a beautiful woman. And what kind of woman you will have? <laughs> Nothing. Hmm. Well, Zachary, you know, I have to agree. You did beat me there. So today I perfected your religion for you. Completed what is making it more. You see, that once I was a, a, a Muslim, he called me. I don't want to call them debate. Those Muslims are, you don't, you can't debate liars. So he said, This guy is an idiot, you know. Uh, he did not read carefully. So I said to him, It says today I perfected your religion for you. He said, Yes, but he did not complete it. I said, <clears throat> He did not. He said, Yeah, if Allah wants to say that it's complete, he will say completed. I said, You idiot, read. I don't know how many of you have seen the debate. He thought it's not there. He thought that the word completed, it's not there. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to complete it, Islam for us? Aryan Khan, you have a challenge to the Christians? Okay, Mr. Aryan Khan, why you don't call me, my friend? Why you don't call me? We have guys, Aryan Khan, he have one challenge. You see, what I like about the Muslims, <clears throat> we just showed them big poo, poo from their book, and now the Muslim, he tried to change the topic. It's a, a challenge to the only Christians. Dude, we have, don't you see what we are doing? It's a challenge any Christian. Uh, Aryan Khan, my friend. What about the topic we have here? Are you going to answer about what this madness your prophet he came with? Huh? I challenge any Christian. So he thought now we will forget about the stupidity of his verse. And that's it. He challenged any Christian. Call where? Call in the software. <clears throat> hey, by the way, there is a there is a Muhammadan. He said to me in the previous comment. Uh, his name is what? Muhammad Muhammadan Fidanur, something like that. Show me in the Bible about Christmas, Easter, Halloween, Valentine, where Jesus, peace be upon him, celebrated those sinful blasphemies acts. A Muslim is asking us. You guys, you don't hear me? What do you mean there is no sound? Sound is fine and I am singing. Hello? It's me you looking for. You cannot debate the future or before. And you have to run away from me. Hello? Today I perfected your religion, completed my favor upon you, Islam became perfect for you, hello. Who can come with such a verse, 
You have to be a doctor or a nurse. Any Abdul? <clears throat> Hello? Where is the Muhammadan? Hmm? This is the preserved Quran? <clears throat> you are so sick, properly you will sleep. Drink Amory or and the Prophet Muhammad. Okay, uh, let me give you a medicine. There is a we have a, somebody here. Uh, she is sick. Let us give her advice from Prophet Muhammad. I will tell you the secret, please, but don't share it with anybody. I mean, please, just between us, YouTube, Facebook, you know, Twitter, talk, TikTok. Prophet of Allah, he said. The Nagla seed is remedy for every disease except death. Man. Why people need to go to the hospital? Why? I mean, why? Why? Honestly, why? What's wrong with people? What's wrong? So the Nagla seed is the remedy for every disease except death. Is death is disease? Are you sure? That's it. You take Nagla seed, you will be fine. Except death. Like, brother, if you have somebody, he is dying before he die, almost there. Just put a Nagla seed in his mouth. He will come up like a horse. Actually, me, myself, I did die many times. I have always necklace seed in my pocket. I told them, like, when you see me, I'm dying. Just, you know, I have a, I have a paper in my chest. I, I print it in my T-shirt. It says, the necklace seed in my pocket. Please, before I die, give me one. But once, one person who is an idiot, he did not give me one. He gave me two. And guys, you do not know what happened. Not only I became healthy. But I could not sleep after that for the coming 25 years because it was so healthy. I did not even need to sleep. Like I was dreaming to sleep. Like, please, can I sleep? But that's it, too late. Two neglected. Three neglected, you would become an infant. You would become younger. Don't say that to the ladies. Oops. Oh, man. I did not say that. Did I say that? Now they will sue me. They will say, like, uh, they go to Amazon, they start buying a Nigla seed, everybody, and nothing changed, and they will sue Christian Prince because he gave us false information. False medical information. <laughs> what happened to the guy who have a question? He want to call us. Are you okay, uh, Mr. Khan? Mr. Khan, are you there? Why, my Skype is still dead. Shall I give my Skype a Nagla seed? Hmm? Now, you might say that Nagla seed are useful. You know, they're all, I think every seed in the world is useful. All food have a benefit. Even water have benefit. You know, not only like it keep you alive as a liquid, but even water have minerals. So, but this guy is just an idiot. A remedy for all diseases. But anyway, we're not go back to the Quran. <clears throat> yeah, the funny Muhammad, he says, if you eat seven ajwa a day, uh, it protects you. From what? From magic. Man, this is the power of food. Even magic cannot touch you. Ajwa. And not only that, not even poison. You know, 
uh, <clears throat> a few years ago I went to Romania and in Romania there's a lot of people they believe in superstition and magic and etc so there's a woman she claimed that she can like do magic like there's many young girls they go to those you know if it's a foolish behavior so they go to those women who they are supposed to be witches and they will write for you black magic so this guy will feel in love with you so one day I was visiting you know some people and they told me uh, this is the woman we told you about and uh, uh, she, uh, she asked what are we you know she don't speak English so they explained to her that you do make magic to make a, a man or you know love a woman he marry her uh, she, and she said she was excited yeah she said if you have any women you want I can make her love you. I said, no problem. Let us start. I want you to make me love you. <laughs> and I will pay you. Can you do it? They translated to her and they were dying, like, you know, laughing. They're trying to hold to himself. He's, they told her, he is saying, as long as you can do it, can you make him love you she said no no not me you know it's not, so don't worry i will not I'll, I'll just make me love you to prove it to him you know i don't want to be like i just do it now you are here i'm here do the black magic make me love you you know yeah fraud you know when a, when a human being he have a brain of neglected or a ajwa anyone can fool you let us go back to our topic. So where is the Muhammadan? And by the way, I became in love with her. Her name is Khadija. So the Muslim who asked me about uh, uh, Halloween, you idiot, Halloween is not a Christian holiday. Halloween is a pagan practice. Only stupid people practice it. Secondly, when you say Christmas, where in the Bible says Christmas? In the Bible says that angels, even in the Quran, came to Mary with a glad news. This is the Christmas, even in your stupid Quran. You know, there is even some some naive Christians. They say there's no Christmas in the in the Bible. That's false. The angels they came and you know they uh, they said shalom to you Mary you know plus you are between the women uh, and uh, you know even even the child the child in the womb of relative women to Mary he bowed down to the news in her in her womb this is what the Bible says so. Like the the the the, uh, uh, the baby inside the women is is is moving for he heard you know this is what the Bible says, but the Quran itself speak about angels came to Mary to announce to her a great news, Christmas time. Do you see it? Did your prophet receive, his mother receive a great news and angels from sky coming down because he is going to be born? Nobody care. The Bible says of a three shepherd who they came and they gave gifts and they look for Jesus for the newborn person yes there is a Christmas in the Bible secondly the Easter obviously you are an idiot the Easter is exist before even the crucifixion of Jesus but those Abdu do not know and you Muslim you try to practice the Easter practicing something called Adha Adha mean the day of sacrifice
somebody saying to me, CP, you do not know meaning of the chapter. You only disturb yourself. Go sleep. Amudo, I can open the interpretation for you, my friend. Do you, are you willing to call me during the time I am asleep and read the interpretation for me? As long as I do not know the meaning. So either you tell me the meaning or we can read the interpretation for the meaning while I am asleep. By the way, when Allah, he heard that Muhammad received satanic verses, was he awake or he was asleep? Just a question, because shaitan, according to the Quran, he throws satanic verses in the mouth of Muhammad. Remember, in the mouth, not somewhere else. I don't want to speak dirty. So he's throwing the mouth of Muhammad, satanic verses, and Allah, he promised Muhammad to protect him. So who is the one is asleep? You have the worst security company ever. You know, this guy, Ali Aziz, he was here jumping like a monkey when I was not live. The second I came, he disappeared from the chat. And he told the people he want to go and fight a sheikh to call me. Good luck. I am disturbing people. I just farted, my friend. I hope you don't bother. Let me tell you what happened. According to your prophet, when shaitan he heard, Salat, he fought. So who is the one is disturbed, my friend? Allah or the shaitan? Just question. I mean, look, your God, he is very well received. The second you say Allah, shaitan fought. So I don't know, like when Allah, he hear that shaitan, he fought when they say his name. Who is the one supposedly is being disturbed? Allah or Shaitan or versus the anus of Shaitan? And by the way, this is a proven to be scientifically that when Muslim they say Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, the methanol in the atmosphere increased like five, six times more because all Shaitan are farting. Imagine how many Muslims are praying every day. Each time you say Allahu Akbar, Shaitan, <laughs> farting. And I'm not going to tell you what NASA discovered. NASA, they made a full study about fartation. Fartation is not the same as fart. Fartation is come like far from far and tation, you know? It's like fart station. So they make it short. They discover that Shaitan, he have a fart station to provide all the Shaitan in the world of farting. Because you cannot make Shaitan fart. Like, do Shaitan get cold? I mean, where the fart will come from? So what they do, they go to the fartation station and they fill up so they can be ready five times a day for the farting ceremony. I'm not going to ask you how your prophet knew all of this. This is amazing. Look, the prophet said, when Satan hear the call of a prayer, he turned back. You know what is making me really upset he turned his back i mean he turned his back at allah where the muslims are located can you believe it shaitan he have a back and he have a front and obviously his anus is in the back look what the heck and what he do he start shooting farting who is a muslim can tell me where muhammad he learned this from Somebody saying, Aryan Khan saying, Aryan is upset. Look, Aryan, he just killed me with his comment. Aryan, please don't do that to me. Brother, I cannot handle your words. You just broke my heart and something else. Look what Aryan, he said. You sound so illiterate person. You don't even share link if you dare to speak. 
You know, Ariana, I thought your prophet is illiterate. So are you insulting your prophet, you idiot? According to you Muslims, your prophet do not know the difference between the letter A and a stick. According to you Muslims, if we write the word donkey in the name of your prophet, Muhammad will not know which one is his name. And you are calling me illiterate? Isn't it the Quran called the Muslims illiterates? Call me and I will show you. The Quran called the Christians people of the book, not a single one call us illiterate. But the Quran called the Muslims illiterate and call your prophet illiterate. How dare you? You just broke my <clears throat> heart. But anyway, I'm not worried about it because I have Nagla seed and I will eat Ajwa. So you cannot kill me by your poison words and you cannot destroy my spirit because I have both Ajwa seed, Ajwa date and Nagla seed. I just took one extra in case you try to do something. I'm ready more now. Call where? The admins are posting my my uh, my Skype, my friend. Don't you see? Are you blind? Are you blind? The admins, they post many times. They says, call Christian Prince here. <clears throat> I will post it for you. Hold on. You are claiming you are not seeing it. It's okay. It's okay. You are illiterate. All right. Now, here we go. Don't tell me you don't see it. Do you see it? Call me. Hey, Andrew was busy. I think Andrew, he was making shish kebab. He just came back. Call me, my friend. Call me. And I will give you negla seed. So you stay alive. Do we have any Mohammedan here would like to call us? CP stream is the best. Well, now you know now my secret. It's Nigla seed. You know? Anyone enter my chat, I give him Nigla seed. I hepatize them. Like, then you open your chat, you know, you, you open your mouth, and I play basketball, by the way, and I throw Nigla seed from far distance. It's in your mouth, and now you are hepatized. Hepatize. Hepatization, yeah. The have a the have a thing you know whatever it is. Do we have any Mohammedan who would like to call us? <clears throat> hmm? Any Mohammedan? Until now, there is nobody. So we're going back to the topic in the Quran. When the Quran says that today I perfected your religion for you, was Allah serious, Muslims? Was Allah serious or he was just kidding? Hmm. <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? Is Allah serious when He said today, this day, I have perfected the religion for you? Or He was just, you know, He don't mean it. Because, you know, you know, the, the you know, uh, gods in the old days, you know, those old days gods, they used to say things which is not, you know, they don't mean it. As many things in the Quran, Allah, he don't mean it. As an example, Allah, he says, I created Adam. Obviously, he don't mean it. Because once he say, he created him by saying B, and the other place he says, I created him by my hands. What's my point? What do you mean, what's my point? As I can say, Christian Prince, first of all, you get a point there. Allah, he said once that Allah created Adam by then. In other words, in the Quran, he said Allah, he said to him, be and he was. In fact, all of them both are the same. Or Zakanaik, how they can be the same? If one created him by his hand, and one he created him by saying, be and he was. Either this one or that one. Christian Prince, 
You never think to yourself that I created something by my hand, but in fact, you never use it hand. As an example, you use voice command to date, and you use Google. Or what, what? You use voice command. Voice command? Exactly. So you say that speak to Google, and you give him voice command. But if we ask you, did you open the door? You say, yes, I opened the door by my hand. But in fact, you made a command, and you say, Alexa, open the door. And Alexa opened the door for you. Alexa? Open the door. Oh, okay. You got a point there, Zachary Naik. So, are you saying Allah did not use his hands? Exactly. So, Allah did lie? Exactly. Are you listening? Exactly. Are you stupid? Exactly. Zachary Naik, is the CD stuck or something? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Any Muhammadan? Exactly. Zakir, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to them. Any Muslim can tell us what's going on? Why it's so hard to call me and give me the answer? Look how Zakura is so cute and his answers is always so smart. He's genius. You are speaking is full of satanic action. That's deep. You know, Amido, I don't know. When you say I am speaking full of satanic action, can you call us and explain more? I promise you, I will talk about satanic action only. This is your this is your words and this is your topic. What do you think, guys? Can Amido Rakibu Rakibul Rakibu, you know what Rakibu mean? They did right. Do you know that your prophet, according to your prophet, a bunch of a black African, they did right your prophet all day long and they were naked? Your name is Rakibu. Is that true? I'm just choosing your last name. I don't know. I'm, I'm being. I'm, I'm. I'm innocent and I'm naive. I don't know anything. You know. I can show you the reference that you're a prophet. He was a mule for a bunch of African, and they rode your prophet all day long to the point he could not even walk no more. And he, the the hadith says he was badly in pain, and they were naked. What is making it complicated? Why they are naked? I mean, I understand they are writing the Prophet, peace be upon him, but naked, why? Maybe you can tell us. Are you there, Mr. Amido? I swear who created your parents, CP. Go and start class one. What the heck is that? I'm getting dizzy now. Look what the Muslims... One he said to me, you sound like illiterate. And the other one saying to me, I swear who created your parents. <laughs> what the heck is that? That's deep. You swear. I think you missed it. You want to say, I swear by who created my parents. Now I'm going to give you 10,000 nigla seed if you can tell me who created my parents. Don't tell me Allah. <laughs> your God Allah do not know how the baby is created so he can't be the one who created anyone hmm? okay any Muhammadan be my witness zero Muslims until now Zero, zero. Look, he swear by who created your parents. <laughs> That's deep. Let us see, somebody is texting me, I guess. <coughs> Sorry, I guys, I'm coughing. I ate some spicy food.
too much spice. Hello? Maybe it's Fakira. Hello? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Can I ask, you, I ask you something? Can you ask me something? Can you speak louder, please? Uh, maybe because my microphone, I don't know. Uh, maybe you maybe you should not you uh, don't use the headphone. Uh, how, how about how about now? No, how about now? Okay, I hear you, but it's not really that clear. Go ahead. What do you want to say? Okay, I want uh, ask you something. Okay. About uh, gospel of John. Are you are you a Muslim first? Yes, I am. What is the proof that you are a Muslim? Uh, I don't know. Well, a Muslim. But, but, okay, uh, how, I, how a Muslim he proves he's a Muslim? Anyone can call me. Maybe you are a Hindu, and you know, and you don't, you like cows, and you decide to call me to you know fool me because I'm naive, and you tell me you are a Muslim. How? What is the proof that you are not a Hindu? Maybe I can read uh, Surah Al Fatiha. Oh, why you don't read for me? As long you know, why you don't read for me? Do you know why they call the chapter of the cow the cow chapter? As long you are a Hindu. Wait, wait, wait, wait. Uh, can I ask you or no? Huh? You can ask me, but I'm just having a conversation before we start, like just to heat you up, like, you know, just to sport, like before you go to the match, you jump, you know, up, down, up, down, so you get, you know, stronger. So, uh, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I have a feeling you have an accent from India, and I think you have something for cows. No, I, I'm from Indonesia. You are from Indonesia? Yes. You're, you're Indonesian, orange, orange, okay. I speak Indonesian very well. Orange, orange, yeah. my friend. Okay, so go ahead. What what the question you have? As long as you are from Indonesia, I will be very easy on you. Go ahead. I uh, want to ask about Gospel of John seventeen three. Is it what? Uh, Gospel of John seventeen three. Gospel of John seventeen three. Yes. When Jesus say, yeah. "And this is eternal life, that people know you, the only true God." Uh, my question is, uh, who is true God in this? Okay, uh, let me ask you. You said John what again? Seventeen three. Can you op can you open it and read for me? Yes. Because I want to know uh, why Muslims they did not see verse number one and verse number two, but they no, see no, verse. I, I ask you on uh, number three, no number one. Uh, no, no, I'm asking you. Okay, as long as you are asking me about three, did you read the verses before it or not? Yes, but but I mean, hey, I, I mean, I, brother, brother, brother, my friend, my friend, we are having a conversation. Don't worry. You know, your question is preserved. But I'm asking you, did you read the chapter, John chapter 17? Did you like when you opened the chapter, you found yourself like in a sliding in the ice and you you, lay, you you fell down over verse number three or you saw verse number one and verse number two and verse number three? What do you think? Okay. Did you see that? Uh, what happened about number one? What happened about number one? Okay, because if you go to the verses before it, you will see that Jesus is speaking to the Father. And verse number two, it says that, the, uh, verse number one, it says that the hour is come, glorify the Son. So even God, the Father, He glorified the Son. Do you think God glorified people? But I not uh, ask you uh, number one. Uh, no, I know, I, I know, I know, my friend, I know. I'm saying, I'm trying to show you that you are a Muslim, you copy paste, but you skip the most important part. Because if you, in order to understand verse number three, shouldn't we read verse number one and verse number two? And then we go to verse number three. So if we go to verse number one, you will see that God the Father glorify God the Son. Second, verse number two, it says that the Son who given the power over all the flesh, that he should give eternal life, to so many as thou has given him. Who is the one have the power of the eternal life? Yeah, well, that's my question for you. What my, is my friend, through God? My friend, my friend, your question is about verse number three, correct? No, my question is about what is only one true God in this verse? Uh, on true God, that's mean we, we Christians believe in one God. We don't believe in three gods. Somebody no. There, okay. there, is, there is somebody is there? there is somebody father stupid. Or, the, or Jesus? Uh -huh. Only one true God, Father or Jesus? One God is still Jesus. Because God, you see, I, I, I will make it simple for you. Your God, Allah, in the Quran. No, 
No, but in this, yes, so say you, not me. Now you, not now me. What What do you mean, you, not me? Uh, you so say... My friend, that they my, friend, my, friend my friend, my friend, my friend. That they might okay, know you, see, you, not that they might I did read for you me. verse number two, what I read verse number two, Jesus said in verse number three, this is, is uh, the, uh, the eternal life, correct? That they might right. know that thee, the only true God, right? Right. Okay, but who is this, the one is talking? Who is Jesus? Who is the one who is talking? Jesus. Who is the one is talking? Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, yeah, but Jesus talking as what? As the Son of God. So you are the true God as the Father, and I am the only true God as a Son. Because this is why I say to you, why you don't want to read verse number one and verse number two, and you skip to verse number three? Because verse number one and verse number two will, will make you look bad, and will make you look hypocrite. Because here we go, the verse in the front of us, it says, so those words uh, uh, spoke, Jesus say, uh, uh, lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come, glorify the Son. So God the Father, you see who is the God, the only true God? Jesus is speaking to the Father saying, you are the only true God. In the same time, isn't it Jesus, he said, me and the Father is one? Okay, that means Father is not only true God. No, Father I'm asking you, only... you see one by one. Did Jesus say me and the Father is one? One what? One what? One, one God. Yes, one what? One God. Jesus never said that he only uh, say one, no one God. So uh, if uh, if I say me, uh, can, can you say you and Allah is one? I never said that. Okay, Jesus said it. Jesus did not say but Allah one, because one Allah what? is Satan. One what? My friend, when, when, when, when you Muslim, you say Allah is one. I will ask you the same question. Allah is one what? In number, in number. Allah is a number? Yes, Where, by number, one by, so, by, one by number. As long as long Allah is a number, as long he is one, that means there is two. You just but said, one, you, are, one. You, you just said, you just said he is one. Yes. One what? One number? By number. One by number? number? Okay. As long he is numbered, then we start from zero, and then we start from one, and then we start with two, and then we three. So if Allah is one, there was zero before him. Okay. So Allah. And then you so, say Jesus so when you and, say and one, my friend, you one, Muslims, one, one. your Muslims are ignorant. The one, the word one in the Quran it says, "Qul huwa Allahu ahad." Ahad is a word taken from the Bible, which is ikhad. Ikhad is not a one person. Ikhad is a unity. So when we say one, we are not speaking about one person or one number. We are talking about one God. As an example, you have a, a soul and you have a body, a flesh. Is that true? Okay, don't, don't run away uh, from hold my on. Person, let's, let us see, who's, let us see who's running oh, away. No, no, no, yes, don't change yes. the topic. Don't change the topic. You yourself, you have a soul and you have a body. Are you one or two? One. So how come you are two and one in the same time? You just said you have a soul and you have a body. Is the soul the same as the body? Different. Answer me. Is the soul the same as the body? Not same, not same. Okay, then, then, then, then this is two. If they are not the same, how you count them one? No, but I don't ask about that. No, it's not about you asking, you see. I mean, because now this is embarrassing. You don't want to talk about it. I did not ask about that. I know what you are asking about, but you are I'm trying to avoid. You are trying to avoid that. You are trying to avoid. You are trying to avoid. Listen, you are trying to avoid the problem that your God, who himself, he taught you about soul and spirit and etc. He got himself busted because if you as a human is one in the two in the same time, is it impossible for God to be three and one at the same time? Go ahead. Actually, you, you can answer my question or no? I'm answering you. Answer. You are the one who's running away. You see, no. guys, can you answer my question? Yes or no? I just showed you the same okay. verses you, you gave you me. Hold on. Uh, my, my friend, my friend, hold on, hold on. People, people are hey. laughing at you. People are laughing at you because the verses you gave me, the verses they are speaking that Jesus is God. Who is the one have the power over all mankind? Is it God or a prophet? 
God, God. That's it. Jesus, he said, here is God. Verse chapter 17, John 17. This is the chapter you choose for me. It says that yeah. Jesus have the power over all the flesh and he is the one who gave the eternal life. Okay. Who is the one who will give eternal life? God or a human? Yes, if Jesus is only true. I'm That's asking you. No, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm asking you. Don't, don't skip. Who is the one who can give eternal life? Is that God or Muhammad? God. Okay. I, I was but but God. Jesus, he just said, I am the one who gave eternal lives. How come you don't want to see that? How come you don't but, you want to? That's why he, he said to know you. Not, not to, to know, know you. Me. Yeah, by knowing Jesus, we know God. Because nobody saw God. Did you? Did you see Allah? Did you did you did you Muslim see Allah? Did you did you Muslim see all did you Muslim see Allah? Again, you run away from my You are the one who's running. So Jesus he announced here in front of your eyes that he is the one who can resurrect people from death. Let me ask you again. Is it true okay. that the Quran says that Jesus resurrected people from death? That means Father is not true God. You see, you are true. <laughs> Father no. is not true God. Why? You say true God. Why? Why? Is, true God why? No? Why he is not true God? Because you say true God is Jesus. What? Because you say true God is Jesus. Three God. True God is Jesus. Three God. You say that. Three God. True God. True God. True God. Only one true God. The, the true God is Jesus. True God is the Father. True God is the Holy Spirit. That means. So okay, listen, three, listen, not, listen. Not what, what the Christian not, believe? Let me ask you. It sounds like you're literate, like your prophet. What the Christian believe? Do you know? Tell me, just tell me. No, you I tell me what the Christian believe. Do you know even what the Christian believe? I don't know. You, okay, you we as a Christian believe in God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And the chapter in front of you, did Jesus announce that he is the Son of the Father? Okay. Okay, that hold, on, not, hold on, hold on, hold on. So when Jesus is speak to his Father, He's speaking to the Father. He is not saying, I am not. He just said, I am the Son of the Father. And not only that, he just said, I am the one who have the power over the flesh. And not only that, he is the one who will give the eternal life for all mankind. So who I, I ask you, who is the one who have the power of the flesh? You said God. Who is the one who give eternal life? You said God. And then you are asking me how Jesus can be God. But the same verse which you are trying to use to say Jesus is not God, is the same one saying that Jesus Christ is the one who sent by the Father as his Son. So we as a Christian believe that God the Father, who sent God the Son, and the Holy Spirit is with us. And now you are saying to me, where it says that? Okay. Okay. That means Jesus, Jesus is God, and Father is also God, right? Jesus is, the, as a person, you know, we as a Christian, we believe that God is one, a God, in three person. You Muslims, because you are confused, I just ask you, are you having a spirit and a flesh? Are they the same? You said no. So now you are trying to match that with yourself. You find how hypocrite you are. Because you as a human, you have a soul and you have a flesh, yet you accept yourself to be one. So when Jesus says, the one who saw me, he saw the Father, can you explain to me why he said that? Reason, I mean, if Jesus is God and Father is also God. So I'm asking God you, when Jesus said, one. okay, my friend, so if Father is God, Jesus is God, and the Holy Spirit is God. What is the problem? Yes. Do we have a three God now? How much you have God? We have one God. How can? How can? You yourself, you just approve it. You have a soul, you have a flesh, yet two of them and you claim to be one. Aren't you the one who said to me that the flesh is not the same as the spirit, the soul? Did you say that? And I said to you, are you two? I said to you, are you two now or one? You said one. So you see how hypocrite you are? So you are asking God how he can be three and one at the same time because you are following Allah. Allah cannot be. My God, okay. he can, for he is almighty. As an example, as an example, can your God have a son? God don't know how son. No, no, I'm asking God you, can he, can he? I'm not asking for you. For what? For what? I'm for asking what? you, listen, my friend, listen carefully, listen carefully, listen carefully. I'm asking you, can he have a son or he cannot? 
He don't want. He don't want. He not want. No, no. This is not a question. I'm asking you: Can he have a son, or he cannot if have he, a son? If he, if he want, he can, he can. But he didn't want this. But the Quran says no, he cannot. Why you run away again? Here we go. Isn't it the Quran says, how can Allah have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? Well, you, you change topic, brother. I'm not changing topic. I'm just showing you how stupid you are because you don't even understand your religion. You think that Allah, he don't want to have a son, but if you like to, he, he can have a son. But the Quran says, I ask you, can let's, Allah, let's, listen, let's listen, I ask you, I ask you, because we are talking about, topic. we are talking about Jesus being the son of God. Are we saying that or not? So Jesus is being the son of God. I'm asking you, can Allah have a son? You said to me, he can. Is that correct? If, but, he, if he want. If, if he, he want, want. Okay, if he want. Read for me then. Why you are lying to me? Why you are lying about your religion? Chapter 6, verse 101 says, how can he have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? Allah himself questioned the ability. It's not me. I am saying, how can he? Allah himself saying, how can he have a children when he has no wife? You said to me, if he want, he can. But Allah, he says, no, he cannot. Are you saying there's a contradiction? That is only translation. I don't care about translation. Translation is for you. Uh, for me, I speak Arabic. You can read it in Arabic. Go ahead. Okay, but don't change topic. I'm not changing topic. I'm just asking you, is it, does it the Quran says Allah cannot have, listen, I just approve. I just approve. You see, to, your to point, your point, God. my friend, my friend, you are a poor person. Your point is that how God can be, how God can be three and one in the same time. My God, he can. Your God cannot. Your God cannot even have a son. As you see, he needs a girlfriend. And when I show you the verse, you say this is a translation. That is a stupid answer of you. Aren't you an Indonesian who read translation too? Okay. Can but, you read for but, me? But, Can you tell me in the Indonesian version what the translation say okay, about the chapter? Listen. listen, you are trying to escape the humiliation of your God. So no, my, no. we prove, we prove that my God can have a son, and okay. we prove because, that you are lying. And we God prove. Hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. I will give you a minute. And, and right? my friend, like, well, there's one. I just answer you. My God, He can be one. And my, when Jesus says. You are the only true God who should worship because yes. how they worship, how they worship God in the same chapter. They worship God the Father by worshiping the Son. It's in the front of you. Okay, but, but listen. Listen, listen. listen. Can you read for but me? This, listen, just to show this, you, just uh, to show you, just to show you how hypocrite you are. I no, challenge no, you. you. Listen, say, listen, listen, listen. How the how the people they will worship how the people will worship and glorify the Father. In verse number 13. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Don't change topic. This is your question. This is your question. This is your question. Don't change topic. How the people will glorify the Father? How? Did you? Just why I ask you. Did you ask chapter 17 or not? Yes. Just tell me. You are a liar. You, are, you did not read it. Okay. If you are a person who did read chapter 17, tell me according to chapter 17. How the people they glorify the Father? How? Tell me, just tell me. Aren't you the one who knows the Bible now? Suddenly you do not know? I don't know. If you read, <laughs> if you if you read, my friend, if you read with me, it says that if those people they keep my words, they keep my teaching, this is how they glorify the Father. If they, I, he said here, not only that, glorify though me with their okay. own self. God the Father glorify Jesus with his own self. Verse number yeah. five. Can you see it or you cannot? You say my teaching, that means Jesus I, is I'm teacher. asking you, do you see verse number five? Yes or no? Does it say that God the Father glorify the Son with himself, with the glory which I had? Before the word was, does it say that? Okay. And what, what do you mean? No, about wait, wait, hold on. What do you mean? Okay. Do God glorify a human or God he glorify someone is equal and he is the son? Okay. And, does it, say, and does it say, and doesn't say, and doesn't say that 
that Jesus was exist before the world is exist? I don't know. Just tell don't me. Don't tell me I don't know. You have a diarrhea. It's called I don't know. I'm asking you. The same chapter you chose for me. Did Jesus claim and he said that that the Father glorify me with himself equally and then for which the glory my you know the glory which I have before okay. the world was when let me uh, hold on how Jesus how Jesus is glorified by the Father and how he is exist before the world is exist go ahead you are a genius man but trouble is trouble is Jesus say yes Yes, to say that they know you, not that they know us. They know you and they knew me. I am your son. <laughs> now me? My friend. Okay, you are the person who used the word us, right? You said did not use the word us, correct? Yes. Okay. Allah, he keep using the word us. How many he is? Well, you run away again. Here we go again, again. You talk like uh, those, you know, San Francisco boy, my friend. Again, uh, you are the one who said I us. Guess. So Jesus, he made it so clear. You are the father, I am the son. Why he need to say us for you? Should we add words to the Bible to make it uh, like look nice for you? And now I'm asking you, if Allah is one, why he keep using us? Because okay, you are the one, means, you uh, are the one who uh, like uh, us. That is, that is you are the one, uh, you are the one who is saying that the word us is the only one to prove to you that God is not one as a person, correct? Yes, and then? So if I show you from the Bible, God, our God saying us, that will prove to you that is enough? Okay, listen. Hey, listen, uh, hey, listen, don't try and I'm asking you. So my God in the Bible says us, and obviously he is not one person, he is one God. Your God, he used us for what reason? Why you not not let me finish Why my question? Why not let me finish? You are the one trying to run away. Aren't you the one who said the word us? Why do you want to answer? Why Allah, he used the word uh, us? Don't compare with Islam. Yeah, when you compare with Islam, are you saying that Islam is a religion of mushrikeen? No, because and now, I so you are not, not, So now Islam you just said, mean, now you just agreed that your God, Allah, don't teach monotheism because he say us. I mean, mm. if Jesus, Jesus, uh, I mean, I, I, I like this. I mean, he, uh, stop eating hummus, my friend. Why Allah He used the word us? You are trying to escape the embarrassing question. What's your question? Why Allah He say us? Okay, because in Quran, sometimes uh, Allah say me or us, that doesn't matter. Uh -huh. So in the case of Jesus, it matter. In the case of Allah, it doesn't matter. You are a hypocrite man. I'm asking you still why Allah He say us if He is only one in person. Jesus, uh, what name. us mean? You are the one who said to me. You are the one who said to me why Jesus did not use the word us. Correct? I said to you, I can show you verses from the Bible making it clear. God He says us. So I'm asking you now. My God, when he say us, it makes sense because there's God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Allah, when he say us, why he say it? You okay. said to me, okay, Allah sometime uh, in the me, Quran. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, a boy, little boy. Listen, okay, I will speak like you. Okay, some time Allah he say I, sometime Allah he say us. This is not the question. I'm asking you why he say us. Okay, I, now you saw me when, when you say God is three See, percent. here we go. So you are not going to answer. And, and you are not going theory. to answer why Allah is using the word us. Why are you afraid of my question? Why are you afraid of my question? I answered you. I showed you the and verses. You I showed you the verses. I answered you that Jesus is the son and now you are in trouble. Your God, it turned to be that your God Allah, he claimed to be us, but he is not us. So why you don't want to answer me and tell me why Allah, he, just say it, just tell us, my friend. What the problem? What is your difficult for you? You are an expert. So why you cannot say us, what us meant when Allah, he say us, do he mean he is one by saying us or he mean that he is many? 
Yes, be, uh, before you say, God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I'm Spirit. asking you, uh, before you go back to Jesus, don't be a coward, be a man for a second. When Allah, he say us, or he say we, why he say us and we if he is one? Okay. So, so, first in Quran, when, uh, when say us, when Allah say us. All, all over the Quran, as an example, chapter 2, verse number 99. Okay, just just show me, just show me. Okay, I'm showing you. I just told you. Don't you know your book? Okay. Hmm. Now, okay, listen. Now you read a tafsir. I don't care about tafsir. You agree that Allah He say us. You tell me the tafsir. Go ahead. Why Allah He use the, the guys? Here we go. He gave me the answer. Read tafsir. My, I mean, you, you are a hero, my my friend. You are the hero. You, you see, you, you see. Know, hold on, hold on. When you ask me about Jesus, I showed you the verses. I showed you that God the Father glorified the Son. Jesus said, before the world I am exist, Jesus said that glorify me with you, with yourself. Jesus said to, the, to you, I have the power over the flesh. I am the judge of all mankind. I am the one who give eternal life. And still the stupid you asking me where Jesus says he's God. I ask you, who is the one who give eternal life? You said to me, God. But just, just see that he just said, I am the one who give eternal life. I said to you, who is the one have the power over the flesh? You said God. I said what Jesus, he just said that he is the one have the power of the flesh. I said to you that Jesus says before the world was exist, I am exist. Who was exist before the word? God. And the stupid you, when I ask when, you why, I'll, shut up. When I ask you why Allah, he said, shut he up, God. shut up. When I ask you when why you Allah, say he say God. we, why Allah, he say we, you put your tail between your legs and you don't he want to answer. Say he is God, brother. I'm asking you, why, why, hold on. Why your God, he say we and us. Just read the top here. Just I don't the know. Here. I don't know if Sir, you are the Muslim. When you ask me about Jesus, I did not say to you, just read the tafsir. Shame on you. you. you want, Shame want, on want, you, want, potato. Want, no, want, I answered want, you. Want. I gave you the answer already. And now you are in trouble. Either you have to agree that your God Allah, he say we, and he is not we, he is just one. Or you have to agree that Allah, he is we, and he is many. Which one? Which one what? Which one what? Are you slow or what? I'm asking you when Allah he say we, is he many or one? We not say about Islam. We just say about Christianity now. Listen, Abdul, don't don't play don't, don't play stupid now. I'm asking you why Allah he say we? Is he many or one? One. One. Don't get married, my friend. Your wife, she will leave you for the, for the first real man show up in the street. What's wrong with you? Speak like a man. So I'm saying to you in the stupid Quran, Allah, he said, we send down. Allah, he said in the Quran, if we would like to have a wife or a woman, we will have it from us. Allah, when he say us, he mean who? Yes, he is one, but sometimes he, he is one. Us. He is one. He is one. He is one. You know, my friend, speak like a man for uh, for the sake of the shin of Allah. He is one. I got that. He's one. I'm asking you, Mr. One. Why <laughs> Allah? Why Allah? He say we and you, us. You, if he you is just, one. Uh, run away from my question. Listen. Why Allah? He says if we would like to take a partner. We will take it from us. Us who? If he just just say if doesn't matter. He will take them from us. Us but who? If, but if but if not not happening. Um, Abdul, are you? Don't play stupid. I will give you the necklace seed. You will be smart. Allah, He said, if no, I would no, like, no. if I would like to take a wife, no. listen, listen. No, no, no, no, no, if I would like, to, if I would like to take a wife, listen. You are stupid. Everybody is laughing at you, and now you are trying to escape. You are, you are trying <laughs> you to, to you are trying to escape the humiliation. I answered you. Everybody, I know you. The, the you video is recorded. Everybody, I, I, I challenge you to download the video to post on your channel. People will die laughing at you. Why Allah and how Allah is one? Yet He says, if we would like to take a wife, a partner. We will take it from us. Us who? 
Why do you not answer my question? Why do you question? Why you don't answer my question? Are you, you, you know, answer that. Do you have a boyfriend? Are you a man? I, I, are I you a real man? Listen, why you don't answer my question? I'm asking you, I answer your question and you are a potato. We are talking about the same question for the last 30 minutes. I explained to you, I showed you the answer. And now I want you, you are the one who mentioned the word us. You said Jesus did not say us. So for you, the only proof that God is more than one person is us. The Quran says us. That's mean, according to your logic, Allah is many, not one. And I gave you the Quran. This is the chapter 21, verse number 17. Allah want to take That's a wife. My question, my, listen, my question is, when Jesus say God is Father, yeah, God it's not. We Spirit. answer, we answer, answer me about us. We will go back there, no problem. I will go back there until tomorrow, no problem. Tell me how about Allah. I answer you about Jesus, but I will answer you again and again, no problem. Can you tell me when Allah He say us He meant what? Okay, answer me first. Okay, no, no, answer no, no. It's your turn. It's your turn, please, brother. It's your turn. Oh, you can't no, please, please, please, please, please, please. It's your turn, please, brother. Please, your turn. You're now your turn. Your turn, please. When Allah He says us, He meant what? Actually, you you can answer my question. No, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, please, please, brother, no, it's your turn, it's your turn now. Can you answer me, please, now? Why Allah, he said us, you are the one who mentioned the word us, and now you don't, you bite your, you bite your tongue with it, you don't want to talk about us no more. So, when Allah, he want to take a oh, partner, no. shut up, shut up, potato. When Allah, he says, <laughs> I want to take a wife. You must get Have back you back. ever heard of a God, he want to take a wife? How your God can be God, and he want to take a wife? Why you cannot answer my question? Why you cannot answer my question? My friend, you will be famous. What's your name? Uh, actually, I'm... Uh, your name what? My name? Yeah. Dawood, Dawood Yusuf. Dawood Yusuf. My friend, Dawood Yusuf, you will be the joke of every Indonesian. You just get your God busted. You cannot answer why Allah, he says us. You make and you are the one. And you are the question. one. And you are the one who said... If Jesus, he want to say that there is more than not only him, not only the father, he will use the word us. And now I showed My you, and now I showed you, Allah, he says, say, Allah, he say us. And now you cannot ask, okay, let me ask you, let me ask you, why, why, what is the problem? Why you cannot answer about my little question? Why Allah, he say us? Just tell me why, why it's hurt. Why you are scared from what? Okay. Okay, now answer me. What when Jesus say God is uh, Father? Go. Listen, no, no, okay, no. I want you to tell me about us, and we can go to talk about Jesus, if you don't mind, please. Why yes, Allah? Is, you, why you Allah? He say us. Why Allah? He say us. No, no, you answer me. No, no, no, no. It's your turn now, please. It's your turn. Okay. Why Allah? He say us. Is he one or he's many? I was answering you. Just no, like you did not here. answer me. You never answering me about anything. So I'm asking you, how many times I needed to be? You know, I'm not going to hang up on you because we need, a, we need somebody to laugh at. You became the comedy of Indonesia. Yeah, you said, and you, you can imagine, you, you can question. imagine how many Indonesian they will laugh at you and they will die laughing at Indonesian man, Indonesian Muslim. Maybe you are a sheikh. You do not dare even to answer why Allah is saying us. Very simple question. Don't run away from, from my question. Just answer I me. Am, when I am. I answered you, and you coward. You don't want to answer me. I answer you. I'm done. You, okay. Okay. So uh, now it's your turn. Answer me. This is the topic. How come Allah He used the word us if He is one? You get get busted, brother. Brother, I me. made you famous. They would see yourself. Everybody will die laughing at you. Do you want to so, so you don't want to answer? So are you are you saying to me, brother? Are you saying to me? Are you saying to me that you are ashamed of your Quran and you do not know why Allah is saying stupid things like this? Is that the answer? You cannot man answer my question. Are you saying that Allah is a stupid? He said us. He don't. I was answering about that many times. You're not you did not me. answer me. I, I'm repeating the same question for the last 20 minutes. Why Allah he say we and us? Give me the answer. I'm repeating because you never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never, never,
Where you cannot answer my question. I answer you, and you are a potato. Everybody because, is laughing at you. you are you are you looking at the chat? People are dying laughing. Look at the chat. Why you don't? Okay, what? Okay, what? Okay, what I mean, listen, I mean, listen. What is the problem? I mean, what will happen if you say to me, "Why Allah He said us"? Why? What is the problem? What are you afraid of from? It's just you a simple question. It's just a simple question. Case, I answered you. I am asked. I answered you. <laughs> yeah, I am. I feel sorry for you, uh, uh, Ab Abdul. So, are you going to tell me why Allah has said us? You Muslims are not monotheists. You worship my God. Me first. How many gods you have? How many gods you have? You cannot you have answer one? my So question. now we prove that Jesus, you Jesus said, question. Jesus, He said, the one who saw me, He saw the Father. I said to you, can Muhammad say? The one who saw me, he saw Allah. I asked him, you asked said no. Him. So, so I answer, I answer you, and now we discover, and now we discover it. that Allah is us. Okay, I, I, okay. I will, I will ask you. I will, I will make it simple for you. When Allah, He said, He want to take a walk. Don't ask, don't ask me. Just, just answer it. No. Okay. You see, you are the one who said to me, read the interpretation. Correct. As long as you don't want to answer, is it okay to go and read the interpretation? Okay. Just answer. Just answer me. Okay. So. Uh, do you want me to show you the interpretation for the verse in front of us? Can answer is. Are you going to accept? You are the one who said to me we can read the interpretation. Okay, just answer, just answer. We don't just answer, just answer. I'm asking you, why Allah He say us? You cannot answer my question. Ah, you are just a stupid kid. Okay. Yes, <laughs> shut up, idiot. <laughs> very simple question that Abdul is making popo in his pants. I will make you very famous in Indonesia. Actually, somebody told me that his your name you call yourself. Uh, he is a Yubi Muslim. Yubi Muslim. Okay. Uh, do you see the cowards? So they go to uh, uh, to the Bible. They pick up a verse. But the verse there, even that verse, is a presentation to who is Jesus. Even that verse is telling us that Jesus is God. So the coward, he don't want the other verses. This is the only verse I like. I have glorified thee on earth. I have finished the work which has given to me to do. And now, O oh Father, who? Father. So when we speak about God, Jesus called him Father, and he is the Son. Glorify your Son, so the Son may glorify thee. The coward Abduls, they don't want to read, to read verse number one, and verse number two, and verse number three, and verse number four, because all the chapter is Jesus saying, I am God, worship me. Hypocrite, coward, like their prophet. And when we ask them, why your God, he say us, he do poo, -poo in his pant. Those potatoes do not know, because they are following Muhammad, that we Christians believe in one true God. And Jesus, the son, is born of the father. He is born of the Father. That's why Jesus says, given to me. From who? From the Father. So, when Jesus is born of the Father, we are not having second God. Jesus the Messiah is the humble image of the, glor glor the, the glorious God. That's why the Bible says he humbled himself and he took the, the flesh of a human being. He took the image of us. When we ask a Muslim, do you have a soul and you have a flesh? He say yes. We say, are you two? He say no, one. So how come the human being is not working with your logic? If it's impossible for one person to be one and two in the same time, you are a one person. But you agree that your flesh is not your soul and your soul is not your flesh. But you never said that you are two. If a human being, 
He can be two and one in the same time. Why God cannot have a son born of him, not created? And here in front of us, when the Messiah speak about the Father glorifying Jesus, why God will glorify Jesus anyway? Jesus explained, because my glory was with ye, with you, and with myself, before the world was exist. And then those cowards, they say to you, where Jesus says, I'm God, worship me. I have manifested the name into men. Jesus is sent by the Father. All the Christians believe in that. It's not the opposite. It's not the Christian don't believe that Jesus sent the Father. He is born of the Father. But Jesus confirmed that he exists before the whole world is exist. And you know, uh, uh, any any person who have little dignity, but they don't. Those are people who do muta, yet they claim that they don't do fornication. They call it marriage. They do orfi marriage. They, go, they do zawaj marriage. They do one night stand marriage. They have sex with the children. And then they claim that they can explain our Bible for us. But yet when we ask them simple question about their God, when I take a wife, as a partner and yet he say he will take the wife from us we ask him why he is saying that after 20 30 minutes repeating the same question he refuse because they are cowards and i'm sure if i call him again and again he will never answer but maybe we have another muslim let us take another i hope this guy is he will speak like a man this this boy he's like uh, he have a boyfriend Uh, the one who's texting me, if you are not a Muslim, don't text me. The one who's texting me right now in Skype, if you are not a Muslim, don't text me. Only Muslims, they can call us. Do we have any Muslim? Nah, you did not answer me. Okay. I hope that all men in Indonesia, they speak like this. That will be disgusting. You know, when they answer, they, get, they do poo poo. But Jesus did not say us. Okay, now let us go with us then. So if Jesus says us, that's mean there's more than one. Okay. Allah, he said us. Are you going to answer? You are running away from my question. Oh boy. So all this time I was answering what? <laughs> Us. <laughs> all right, let's see the guy. Remember, if you are not a Muslim and trying to join me in a call, I will block you. Hello? Hello, Fakira? Hello? Yeah, we lost him. Hold on. Hello? Hello? Yes, I hear you. Are you a Muslim? Um... No, I'm not. But I, so I, why I, you are calling me? No, no, no, no, no. We said Muslims only can call. Don't don't call. Here we go. You're blocked. Don't act stupid with me. I say Muslims mean only Muslims. Hello. Why you don't answer me? <laughs> you know, if I go to Indonesia and I'll find out that all men, they speak this way, I will take the first airplane and go back. 
from the airport. Any Muslim can tell us why Allah He say we? Jesus, He said, You are the only true God. Yeah. And He said, I am your only son too. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> Any Mohammedan? Wanna try his luck? So what we you know what we notice from the Muhammadan that they have a fake monotheism because either Allah he say us and he mean it or he say us and he don't mean it so he's a liar which means it's a fake us so if Allah he have a real us that Islam is based on a lie and Allah is not one and when they say Allah is one as they claim well, this is against us. And as you see here, usually the Muslim, they say, like if you read in the same verse, it says, we could surely have taken it from us. Allah again saying we. You ask the Muslim why he say we. They say to you, well, you know, like uh, when a king, he talk, he say we, but this is, uh, this is not true. A king, when he say we, he is speaking in the name of the nobles who elected him to be the king. He is one of them. This is why he said we, like we the people. But is he we? So when you say to me, it's a language figure, that means Allah himself, he don't like himself to be one, and he find himself look better, sound better, stronger when he say we. He don't like it to be I, When we read the Bible, we will find that Jesus said, I am the life. I am the resurrection. I am the truth. I am he. Yet we are the Christians who believe in three persons, one God. But each time we see Jesus speaking, he says, I am. If you go to John chapter 14, verse number 6. If you go to Matthew, we see the heaven open and God spoke, saying, this is my only begotten son. So the hypocrite Muslims, they go you see, if we if we show them one verse, they will say, oh no, you have to read the verse before it and the verse after it. Okay, but if we go in the Quran and we read 10 verses before and 10 verses after, we will find that there is no connection between them. This is a stupid Quran, stupid book. As we just showed you, when Allah, he says in the Quran that, you know, today I perfected your religion for you. What does this have to do? With the verse before it. Nothing. What does this have to do with the verses after it? Nothing. What that have even to do with the whole chapter? Nothing. In our book is different. You don't take a verse, you take the whole chapter. And the chapter itself says it clearly that Jesus exists before the whole world is exist. No, he said, you are the only true God. And he said, I am your only begotten son too. You are the father. So if we read here, what this, what those verses have to do? The table, this chapter supposedly is about Jesus
Allah he sent him seven sandwiches every sandwich have a wheel so what this have to do with if this is about Jesus why you are talking about animals obligation hunting pork today I completed your favor of my favor upon you accepted Islam as a religion for you what does this have to do with Jesus? What all those verses have to do with Jesus? Look at this. And just to show you that not only the, the, the Muslims are stupid when they speak about the Bible, even their God. In the Quran, in chapter 5, verse number 18, it says, and both the Jews and the Christians say, we are the children of Allah. For sure we are not children of Allah, Allah is Satan. We are children of the Father and his beloved ones. Say, why then does he punish you for your sin? So the stupid Muhammad, Aka Allah, think that when the Christian they say that they are the children's, they meant really they are the children's. This is how we see it and the verse in front of you and not only that he said no but you are a human i mean do you see the stupidity allah is saying to the christians no but you are a human being so the stupid god of islam do not know what the christian meant when they say we are the children of god this is stupid false prophet aka allah he think that when the Christian they say, we are the children of God, they are saying that they are gods and they are not a human. So based on the understanding of Islam, God is not only uh, uh, three, like uh, uh, the God of the Christian, not only three, like God, the Son, God, the Father, God, the Holy Spirit. No, the seven billion human beings, they are gods too. Do we have any Abdul would dare to call and tell us any of the topic we mention? As an example, Allah He say us. And do you see how they are in trouble for a very simple question? Allah He say us. Why? Don't ask me. Allah want to take a partner from us. Us. Take a partner from us. You see, usually they try to skip the word we by saying Allah here is speaking about himself being majestic, which is very stupid to say, because if Allah he is using a word in the language of a human being to look better, that is even more stupid. That's mean Allah, he don't feel confident, secure, sufficient would be an I alone he like to be we he feel better when he say we when he say I he feel lonely he feel weak but if we say we now we are majestic this is what the Muhammadan they say to us Allah he say we to be majestic but in the same verse we have a bigger problem Allah want to take a partner as a wife for fun if you want to take it he will take it from us is this us now is the same as the majestic we and because this guy he do not know what to say you know he don't dare and I know if I kept repeating the question a thousand times they will not answer Do we have any Muhammadan? I don't know if Allah is going to invite us to the wedding party. Any Muhammadan would like to join us?
Anyone? Jesus, he said, you are the only true. You know, and the funny is, look like the Christian. They never saw what Jesus said. The Muslim, he just noticed. But the Muslim, at the same time, they did not notice the verses before, the verses after it. Somebody said, how the Congo get back to uh, to uh, uh, Asia to uh, Australia after the flood of Noah? Well, that's very easy, my friend. He was writing you. I mean, there's no way the Congo will not find a way and you all exist. Very silly. And maybe the Congo was created or exist after the flood. We don't know. Do you know? I will, I will, I will give you an idea. I think the Congo, he came by parachute. Uh, like, yeah, you know, maybe, brother, uh, when the flood of Noah happened, he'd call Elon Musk and he said to him, take me and, you know, and they, they went together vacation. And when they came back, the flood was over. Take a beer. Do we have any Mohammedan? Who is a Muhammadan can answer a very simple question? As you see, we answer you. The chapter, the one they mentioned, John 17, is a great chapter. And that chapter announcing that Jesus is the judge of the mankind and he is our God. And God the Father, he glorified God the Son, which was exist before the whole world was exist. It's in the front of you. And yet the Muslim, they claim they did not see it. It doesn't say that, CP. And this is why I ask him, like, did you see verse number one and verse number two? Or you just, uh, it happened that you landed over verse number three? Because those hypocrites, they don't want to see verse number one and verse number two. Because... The Bible says, who is Jesus? Jesus is the Son. And when Jesus speaks about God, he speaks about God the Father. So, they did not see verse number one. They did not see verse number two. They did not see verse number four. Not five, not six, not seven, not etc. They saw only verse number three. Verse number two will hurt their feeling. Jesus saying that he is God, the judge of the judgment day. Jesus saying that he is the one giving the eternal life. A Muslim might say, oh, he was given because he's born from the Father. He's born from the Father. Whatever he have is from the Father. Very simple. When Jesus speak about what is given to him, given to him as what? As a prophet, as a messenger? No, as a son. The hour has come. Glorify the son. That the son also glorify thee. And as you see, God the Father glorified the son. And God the Son glorify the Father. And Jesus is announcing that all the power I have is given to me from the Father. What power he have? Is that the power of a prophet? No. A prophet of him, like a power of an angel? No. Because only God, he judge mankind. Because Judgment need a qualification. You see, I can be a judge in a court, but I cannot guarantee any just judgment for a very simple reason. I'm a human. I don't know what people did 
behind doors. They bring me some witnesses, some papers. I study the case and I judge based on those papers and the witnesses, but maybe all of them, they are lying. But you cannot lie to God. This is why the judgment over the flesh is going to be done by Jesus, for nobody can lie to Jesus. And even the Quran, say it clearly that nobody can lie to Jesus. Jesus can tell them what they are hiding in their houses. He can tell them what they ate. What they ate in chapter 3, verse number 49. The Muslim, they will say to you, by the power of Allah. That's your claim, prove it. And the funny is, the Quran claim that nobody knows the unseen save Allah. So how Jesus he knew? How somebody just came to me, I can't tell him what he ate. And I inform you of what you ate or what you eat and what you store in your houses. Surely therein is a sign for you if you believe. Sign of what? The Quran says, No one knows the unseen save Allah. Woman ya'lamul ghayb illallah. Did Allah give Jesus the ability to know the unseen? If this is the if this is what happened, that means now we have two gods. Chapter 5, verse number 109, it says, You are the one who knows the unseen. Chapter 5, 116. And the funny is, uh, in chapter 5, verse 116, Allah, he asked Jesus, Do you ask your followers to worship me and my mother? Because the stupid God of Islam, he think, Aka Muhammad, that the Christians, they have three gods, God the Father, he married from Mary, and they have a baby God, his name is Jesus. And you will notice here that Jesus said to him, to Allah, well, how I'm going to say, you know what I, you know what I said, why are you asking me? So what the kind of a question this question is? You know if I said or not. And then he got him more busted. He said to him, you know what is in my inner self, though I do not know what is in yours. Allah, he knew what is inside Jesus, in the inner of Jesus, what he's thinking about. But Jesus do not know what is the inner of Allah. How true for that is, well, so how Jesus, he knew the inner of a human being? If this is only a power of Allah, only you, truly, you only, you, are all knower that is all that is hiding and unseen. But if we go, we will see Jesus in chapter 3. He is the one who knows what people are hiding in their houses. He can resurrect people from death. He can make the blind see. He can heal the leper. He can create from the mud the bird. So the Quran say that Jesus is a creator. The Muslim, they say, Allah gave him the power. We will laugh at this because Allah cannot prove it. Prove it. Muhammad's children, according to Muslim, they die. Could Allah resurrect the children of Muhammad? Muhammad himself, he died by poison, rat poison from Home Depot. And the Muslim did not bury Muhammad for three days. Three days, they did not bury him until he stink. 
Ibn Abbas he said, "İtfinu sahibakum fa innahu ya'sanu kama ya'sanu al-bashar." Bury your friend, he stink like all human they stink. But what happened here? Muhammad he claimed in different location, different story that prophets when they die their their body cannot be consumed. So when he die and as you see, he claimed that his body will never decay. The Muslim, why they will bury him? They, they, they did not bury him. His body will not decay. He, this is what he said. He said that you're even the prior of the Muslim will be sent to Muhammad as if he's God. Imagine the Muslim, they pray, and the false translation in front of us here saying, invoke many blessing on me. In the fact, in Arabic it says, أَكْثِرُوا عَلَيَّ الصَّلَاةِ Pray on me. فَإِنَّ صَلَاتَكُمْ مَعْرُوضَ عَلَيْهِ Your prayer is going to be submitted to me. Who is God? Shouldn't the prayer be submitted to God? No, the prayer in Islam is submitted to Muhammad. The companion they said to Muhammad, but aren't you going to be dead then? How our prayer will be submitted to you? Muhammad, he said, after they asked him, but how how our prayer will be submitted to you when your body has decayed. He said, Allah forbid it, the earth from consuming the bodies of prophets. So when Muhammad, he died, the Muslims did not bury him for three days, three nights, until his belly was full of fart. As Ibn Abbas, he said, when Thanat Khunsura, his belly became full of fart and his fingers are shrinking. Do we have any Muhammadan? Those who they are from Indonesia, don't forget to download this video and post it in every Indonesian channel. Let everybody in, you know, laugh at this. Okay, you did not answer me. You did not answer me. Okay, don't forget. We do not need to dig Muhammad to find that he is, he, he, he stink. The Muslim in his time, they got him busted. You see, this is why they did not marry him. When he said that, you know, if if Muhammad, his body will not decay, why they want to bury him anyway? There's no point. Why you want to bury a person, his body will not decay? Just put him in a room. No need for a grave. Is my voice is good? <clears throat> Why uh, uh, Paul and Peter disagree with each other? That is your understanding. That's false argument. They agree with each other. You see, when the brothers, they discuss uh, uh, something, uh, doesn't mean they disagree. Then you will notice that agree in everything. <clears throat> this is why if we follow, if we, if we read what Peter said and what Paul said, we will not find any contradiction. Both are the same. Like both they agree about circumcision. Both they agree about how to treat the the uh, the, the new convert, those who they are not uh, not from the Jews. So what are you talking about? You are very silly. Do we have any Muhammad in here?
Anyone? Peter never praised Paul. Why do we need to praise Paul? We Christian, we praise God. We don't praise Paul and praise Peter. Don't say stupid things. Otherwise, I will send you to Allah. Free shipping and handling. Praise. Do we have any Muhammadan? He did not die yet, and his body, his his belly did not uh, full of fart like Muhammad yet. Any Muhammadan? No Muhammadan when I call us to tell us about the Holy Quran or to help his Indonesian friend who could not answer why Allah he say us and we very simple anyone hmm Second Peter. Yeah. Yeah, but this is not praising. You know, the word praise, when you say praise, you know, we praise God only. We don't praise uh, anyone else. But uh, for sure that, uh, you know, Paul, he have his place between the disciples for a reason. <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? Nobody? And we mentioned to you before that even the Quran speak of Paul. You see, Muhammad is a thief. He have nothing to do with Christianity. He have nothing to do with Judaism. But because he lived between the Christians and the Jews, he starts stealing figures and names and stories and he added to his book. If you go to chapter 36, verse number 14, that verse is speaking about three messengers sent to the city of Antioch. If you go and read the Muslim interpretation, you will find that those three are John, Simon Peter, and Paul. And you can open Ibn Kathir and read it. So the Muhammadan, they try to avoid talking about the religion and they try to find a verse in the Bible to be stuck with it. Oh, Jesus says you are the only true God. Well, we agree. You are the only true God. But the same Jesus said, the one who saw me, he saw the Father. That's mean he saw God. The true God. When the disciples say to Jesus, why you don't show us the Father and that's it? Jesus said, I am with you all this time and you do not know me yet. So the Muhammadan, because they are so desperate following the Satan Muhammad, trying to find a way to get Jesus out of it. You see, Islam is anti-Jesus. They hate Jesus. They don't want Jesus to be anything. They want Muhammad to replace Jesus. This is why they change his name to Muhammad, which means the praised one. So. Islam is an antichrist. Don't want you to praise Jesus. You need to praise Muhammad. Muhammad, he claimed, many things supposed to belong to Jesus. As an example, isn't it the Bible says everything created by him and for him? 
Is that correct? What Muhammad he said? Muhammad he said that Allah said to him, if not you Muhammad, I created not the universe. Even Adam, even the throne of Allah, even the chair of Allah, the, the, the, the tablet of Allah, the pen of Allah, uh, Adam, Eve, universe, moon, sun, stars, you, me, we are created only for the sake of Muhammad. A Muslim is asking question, is it true this hadith where Allah he says, if not you, Muhammad, I did not create the creation. The answer is indeed the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the reason of a creation of Adam Alaihi Wasallam, which means peace on him and the universe. And if the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah pray on him and salute him. Look, they were, Allah himself, he prayed on Muhammad, was not in existence. The Arsh, Allah, he will not have a throne. The kursi, the chair of Allah, is not going to be exist. The lawah, which means the tablet of Allah, the qalam, the pen of Allah, the sky, the earth, the heaven, the hell, the trees, the stones, and all other creatures would not exist. Isn't it, this is convincing you enough that Muhammad is trying to replace Jesus? Isn't it? It's obvious. He is the devil. He's trying to replace Jesus, but can the devil replace Jesus? This is why the devil been exposed. He was busy having sex with the children. He was accused that he is a thief still in panties. He was caught red-handed cheating his wives in their bed. He is, a, he is a person who promised many promises and he broke his promises. He take oath, false oath. He made verses saying, Allah will not take you accountable for false oath you take. Allah will take you accountable only for what you meant in your heart. Can you believe it? Allah will not take you accountable for your false oath. If you go and read the Old Testament, you will see how the Jews avoid even to say God as a name. They use words, certain words, like Adonai, Hashem, etc. But they avoid using the name of God, for this is a big, big, big, big thing to do. Muhammad is teaching his followers to take a false oath, and the Muslim, look at the translation, says, unintentional your oath. What intentional? So you take an oath, you don't mean it? You're lying. In the Old Testament, there's a Jewish man, he took an oath. You see, the Muslim, they say that the Jews, they corrupted their book. Is it true that in the Old Testament, there's a Jewish man, he took an oath, that if they won the war, the first thing he see, he will slaughter. And then what happened? The first thing he saw, it was his daughter. The daughter even did not reject. She wanted her father to fulfill his oath. Do you see how serious the Jews about oath? Muhammad is teaching his followers, who care what kind of oath you took? You don't mean it. You don't mean it. He will not take you accountable. So he is asking the Muhammadan to use the name of God, which is their God, in vain. Satanic. And now you go to the Muslim, you know, if you see a Muslim saying to you, I swear by Allah, laugh. They are allowed to lie. They are allowed to take false oath. Allah will judge you by your heart what you meant.
So a Muslim, he can swear to you that I love you. You see some Western women, they marry Muslim men, which is not marriage, really. It's just a, you know, a sex contract. Uh, she asked him, do you have any... I will go to Jordan because my parents are sick. I need to go and see them. And then the wife, she when he come, she feels something fishy. She said, did you marry another woman? I swear by Allah. I swear by Allah, I did not marry any woman. There is a, a stupid, ignorant woman. She married a Muslim. And she found out that her husband from Jordan, that's why I mentioned the word Jordan, for many years he go every year to visit his parents. And then later she found out, because now he have kids, she found out that he is married. So she is asking the sheikh in the internet, my husband, he did that to me. He lied to me. Even I asked him if he is married, he, he, you know, he, he did not, he, he said no. The sheikh, he said to her, first of all, it's not your right to ask him if he is married or not. None of your business. He's allowed to marry up to four. Secondly, he is allowed to lie to you. So the stupid Western woman who married this man, she thought, oh, the sheikh will take her side. Oh, he lied to you, sorry, disgusting. Oh, he married from your back, he did not tell you, disgusting. He said to her, you stupid idiot. This is Islam. He can marry as much as he want. Who are you? You can't question him why. No, this is not a poor woman. She is a stupid woman. There's difference between somebody is a victim and somebody choose to be a victim. When you choose to be a you know a part of this, you are part of it. Once I, I met a woman, uh, actually, I, ha I met two cases in, in the internet. One of them, she married a guy from Kuwait. He's very old. She's very young. and She's very pretty. That's why he married her. Uh, but she did not convert to Islam. And then he died. He is, the guy is already like over 90, very old. She married him because he's rich. So she thought if he dies, she will get a lot of money. He was so cheap with her. But she keeps saying to herself, soon he will die. Soon. I mean, the guy, he can't even walk. And he died. But then she discovered that according to Sharia law, non-Muslim women, wife, she cannot inherit the husband. <laughs> so she was his sex slave for all those years. For nothing. Another woman, she married an old man too. He's rich, he is from the Gulf. He died. But this woman, she learned that if she is not a Muslim, she will not inherit. So she converted. But then she learned that she cannot take the money. <laughs> Out of the country, she have to stay in the country. <laughs> so those stupid ones, evil ones, those are not poor women. Those are, you know, evil, evil ones. They worship money. They are for sale. Whoever have money, you know, he put them in the truck. He take them, and they thought they are going to take advantage of this old man. So she is evil too. She is no better. She is, she is for sale. Who is going to buy? She has no religion. She has no God. She is willing to even to convert or to sleep with a man. He is way older than her. He's from different religion. He is even, you know, savage just for the sake of money. And then she got nothing. Don't text me unless you are a Muslim. Do we have any Muhammadan? So the only Muhammadan today, he calls us this guy. Uh, answer my question. 
Don't run from a question, okay? Don't run from a question. Please answer your question. You are running. I get past it. Get past it. <laughs> and you know, even if you are married to a Muslim man, there's many dummy. I mean, people are dummy. You know, in Islam, a woman, she don't inherit much. Especially if you're married to many. And if you have kids, you get nothing. Literally nothing. <clears throat> uh, but dummy people. After they divide everything, you will have one to one to eight, but at, you know a one to eight will be it will end nothing, will be nothing. Especially if you have many kids, have many daughters. Oh boy. Any Mohammedan? It would be easier for a Muslim to join. My friend, I do not need your advice. Muslim, they can find me. Don't worry. Don't text me for no reason. No Muhammadan. So no Muslim, no Muslim, I talk about the Holy Quran. And intentional accounts? No, it doesn't. Uh, uh, you see uh, what what he is saying that the husband, men, uh, everybody, he take an oath, but he don't mean it. So Allah will not take it. It's very simple. He don't mean it. But isn't it all the oath we lie? We don't mean them. Isn't it? We don't mean them. When I say I swear to you by etc. I'm going to do this, but in my heart, I don't mean it. That's mean it's I'm lying. This is what the verse is saying. You can lie. <clears throat> Any Mohammedan? Nobody? <laughs> 